Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna break stuff. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and this is what's left of my garage. So we are doing a garage makeover. We're gonna tear apart some stuff and then add some stuff. So the goal is eventually to make it nice. I wanna add some new plugs. So there's only like three plugs in the entire garage. Actually, it might even be two. That's not sufficient. I mean, you know how it is. You need plugs everywhere. So we need to add some more plugs and also I need to do some more wiring and other things because we're eventually gonna swap out this garage door opener for one of the jack garage door openers or whatever it's called, the ones that go on the wall. So we won't have to have all the stuff in the middle of the garage because I figure if we're gonna make it look nice, Let's really make it look nice. I'm open to ideas. People have suggested a few really cool things, including that. I'm listening to you guys and, well, this is one of those moments where I'm trying to do everything I can to make this garage really, truly an awesome man cave. And frankly, it's kind of my studio. So yeah, obviously we kind of got started on tearing out some of the drywall. And the reason is because yesterday they were running a new power cord for my mini split. So yes, I bought a mini split and we're gonna be installing that and we knew it was gonna go somewhere around here. And what we kind of wanted to see is where the stuff on the outside of the house is. And so you can see right there's a little tiny hole and that hole actually po is poking through where the other AC lines are. And so that's where we're actually gonna run it. So the mini split will be mounted somewhere around here on the inside of the garage. So here we are on the outside of the house and you can see that's the new wiring box that they ran yesterday. So we have the existing box for the main AC unit and then we have the new box which is gonna go for the mini split and so then we got the wires coming in down from the attic but then we're gonna run the mini split wires in through that little tiny hole. We're gonna have to obviously make it a bigger hole. Here's the outside condenser unit. So this we need to mount on the wall and I think I'm actually gonna put it right here somewhere about right there yeah so that way it's not directly above the main house unit because we don't want you know the, the heat blowing up into the other unit that would be stupid here is the wall mounted garage door opener and supposedly these are a lot quieter number one number two it's got some cool stuff like you know you can control it with your phone which i don't know i'm a geek i like that sort of stuff so the only trick is we need to run a new power cord so the only power uh in the garage on this side is that one right there so we're gonna have to extend a wire over and put a new plug somewhere in this area right here. And then there's only one plug over here. It's way over here. Yeah, right there. That's the only plug on this entire back wall. So I'd like to have like four or five of them and I'd also like to have them up higher where they're above the height of a workbench. So I probably want them around like this high instead of, you know, way down there. And then I think I may even run one or two plugs over here so that we got plugs everywhere because you know you never have enough plugs and then finally i have a motion detector led light that i want to go on the front of the garage so we're going to actually add a new light switch for that here run the wires up into the attic all the way out to the front of the garage and then we're going to replace that thing that's pretty much useless and does nothing and i don't think it works at all so yeah we'll poke some holes and and put it up in there somewhere before anyone complains look right there this switch see yeah that's the switch to turn on and off the power to the garage so we're being safe don't worry the breaker's off all right so there's our outlet and our existing wiring so what we're gonna do is basically tap into that and run a wire over and i think i'm going to put it about the same height maybe uh one stud over or probably on the that side of the stud that's like right here that way when we mount that thing it'll have the cord kind of drip down a little bit and shouldn't be too long of a cord Got my new wire run, got my new plug. I ended up swapping out the box right there because the metal box or the old box that was on it uh, didn't really 
have an easy way to pop out the wire holes. So I said, you know what, just screw it. We, I got plenty of them, let's just use a new one anyway. But there we go. So this side's all set. So that'll be used for my garage door opener, which will go up there. And that should work out pretty good. All right, so now we got this guy on this side. I think I wanna add at least two, maybe even three more plugs. So what I'd like to do is actually mount it higher. So uh, we'll probably put one approximately in the same area then like one right where these guys are right now and then one over here. So I was just about to start wiring with this thing and I thought, you know, I should probably check it to make sure it's uh, the same breaker. And well, guess what, it's not. So it's actually this one, which clearly looks like it was installed later. So I think they ran this one at some time recently. What's crazy is this box was not mounted at all. It was literally just cut into the drywall just chilling there, so uh, that's not very good. And then the other thing is that's really fascinating is they ran a, it's got a third wire. Um, hmm, all right, well, that's good that at least it's on a different breaker, so I'll be able to run a bunch of stuff tapped off of that, so yeah. Okay, carry on. Got a new plug there, new plug there, new plug there, and new plug there, and then I ran out of wire, so I couldn't run all the way down there, but I got a plug ready to go, so I need to go get some more wire, but I might as well at least see what's going on behind here, because I want to try and run a wire up and over, so we can get that spotlight going. Why do they always use this yellow color on these things instead of white? Is it because they're afraid of getting dirty? I hate it, it's like this weird off-white nasty color. I got all the wiring set up except for the new switch. So since I need to get more wire, but it's basically ready to go. So and I have to send it up and over. Let's carry on tomorrow. The next day. Good morning, YouTube. It's the next day and well, about 3.40 in the morning, I woke up and I realized I screwed up. Hey, hey! And that's kind of common for me. Most things I do, I tend to screw up the first try. Any of you who are really astute will notice that I used 14 gauge wire and I have 20 amp breakers so I needed to use 12 gauge wire not 14 gauge so I got to rewire everything that I did yesterday oh well better now than once the drywall's up so through the powers of the internet I command the wire to be changed now ta-da all done yes take a look so the other thing I did besides changing out to 12 gauge wires I actually swapped out to 20 amp plugs now i know that's kind of overkill but i figured i don't really want to have a fire so i'm going to use the 10 amp plugs for a different project which i thought about this morning because i'm going to be running a ton of lights and stuff up here i'm going to get get rid getting rid of these shop lights and i'm going to put a, about eight or ten plugs up in the ceiling so i can just plug in the new lights so that will make my life much much easier all right so let's See if we can't wire this thing up there and get it set up for that spotlight. All right, still got to kind of strap down the wire, but we're wired up here. Got the switches all working and check this out. Ta-da! Oh yeah, those are bright. Got more stuff coming your way, so hold on just a minute. Good morning, YouTube. Well, it's the next day. I've already started working on the garage. I was up in the attic for a while, so I'm sweat my butt off because it's so hot up there. Ugh. So we're gonna continue on with some demolition. So we're gonna rip out some of the ceiling, put in some plugs up there. So we're gonna remove that light and that light over there because we're gonna be getting rid of those entirely and switching over to those little LED strips that I have. So I've got about 25, 30 of them. Yeah, 
It's gonna be very bright in here. We need to add some plugs for those, so we're gonna start ripping stuff out of the ceiling. And I might even continue on with ripping out some of the drywall. Okay, I've been working on it for quite a while and as you can see we've got most of the drywall removed. We still have all the drywall above the garage door and then we actually got to remove the garage door and then I'm going to add a bunch of plugs. So I think I'm probably going to add, I'm going to say four plugs here and then probably four plugs halfway through. That'll probably work. So eight plugs up in the ceiling. Yeah, that'll be pretty sweet. Eventually. Okay, got all the drywall off the entire thing and remove the garage door opener so i am still running the electrical lines so i put four in the back i'm gonna put four in the front and that way it can kind of have the two converge all right four plugs in the back four plugs in the front and they're wired up to this switch so ready yeah Yeah, so that's plugged up into that last one in the ceiling. That is so cool. Only a few things left to demolish. I gotta blow out that thing. Uh, we'll maybe do that tomorrow. And then I gotta clean up all these piles of crap that are everywhere. Yeah, just tons of stuff. And also, if I have time tomorrow, I think I wanna try and start installing the AC. So what I'm thinking I'll do is just mount the condenser on the outside. So we could do that tomorrow, but I think we're gonna save that for another video. So you guys know the drill. Like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. We're gonna obviously continue to film as we make this garage look super nice. At least as nice as it can be for, you know, the size of it, because it's a pretty small garage. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. We have lots more to come, including still working on my 599 conversion. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for all of that. It's gonna be sweet.